Hey guys, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and my skin is skinning. Okay, okay, guys. So today is the 16th of November, and I know it's really well. Nothing, absolutely nothing <laughs> has happened so far. I can see my makeup point is so mature. I know. <laughs> Getting really tight, the timeline is becoming smaller and smaller every day. Two days actually on Friday, so where's this? On Friday, I would be taking out my statement of account, I would have my clothes, so I would be taking the print out and you know, finally apply for cash. In case I haven't said it before, I already did a um, student visa module past it and all I have to do next is to send um, my statement of account to visa advice to my school. I think my school's um, policy is really different from others because I ask them if I could um, apply on Monday and they said no because by Monday it was already like and they still said no that the cash Days and I'm excited now. I think about cash every time, <laughs> like, I think about cash every time I have calculated it to be a million and one time. I kid you not. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really, really excited for um, me to get this kind of account cash. So, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Another thing that happened to me so far is that. Um, pounds and dollars were going up and up and up. That pounds got to one thousand, and I'm like, let me pay this my visa fee. And I said to the TSA body, I sent pounds a naira and eighty-seven naira to one pound. And then the day after I changed, ladies and gentlemen, the day after I changed, everything started dropping everything started dropping right now i think yesterday it was 870 naira to one pound and i'm like what a loss what a loss it's really painful really really painful because i was trying to get ahead of the old dollar thing and look at me now anyways i'm just here waiting for friday so I will see you guys on Friday. Hey guys, guess what? Today is Thursday, November 17th, and today is the day Namo um, does his biometrics for UK visa. Yay! Imagine me, I'm not getting class, Namo is already getting biometrics for visa. Anyways, that is it. I'm excited about that. Hey guys, today is Friday, 18th of November, and um, today is the day I print my proof of funds. Today is the 28th day. So, yeah, I printed my proof of funds, signed my printer contents to use the proof of funds, and um, my birth certificate. So I sent those three documents to my school's um, visa advice um, people. And I also sent to my college that I have already sent the financial documents. And I asked them how long it would take for me to get my cash. Now they replied that visa advice has to approve and sign off on the financial documents before they can tell me how long cash would even take so there is that and then there is the side of today the back and forth that today has brought so my dad went to the bank to um also tell them about form a so i applied for form a a while back but the part i didn't know is that you were supposed to go inside the bank also to do some other things i did not know that 
So yeah, my dad went to the bank today and then they were telling him it should bring some documents, blah, blah, blah. So I had to send those documents to him. Then he would print it out and give it to them and all of that. Then recently, just as I was about coming home, um, my dad called and was like, the highest they can give is 10,000 pounds at a stretch. I mean, at the same time. So um, 10,000 pounds is the highest. So I have to now apply for another um i have to do another form basically i have to do another registration and all of those things so that ten thousand would um reflect and not the old school fees so that's all about the form here pta now personal travel allowance so i have that you need a return ticket for your pta so now i'm thinking i already booked a one-way ticket i may want to contact the airline to know if it can give me an open um what's it called return ticket so i pay for just one and then pay for the other one later so that's what I am going to try to find out. I'm already having problems with the airline because they moved my um, date. Not exactly that they moved it. It's just that when I was booking, it was a four-hour layover. Now it's like a 12-hour layover. Like we literally arrived by 9 p.m. And then the next flight is by 9 a.m. And that's a lot. So I told them that if there is no accommodation, I would prefer they move it back. I mean... I booked for 25th, so I would prefer they give me something 26 or 27 and not forward because I don't even know when I'm going to get my visa, you know. So anyways, that is everything that is happening right now. Mm. Another thing is that today, or I think it was yesterday, I started talking with um, a landlady that wants to give her a one-bedroom apartment in London. It's like 25 minutes to my school. And it's 800 pounds. Guys, it has been so difficult to get anything 800 pounds. So, so difficult. So difficult. Like, I can't even imagine. And it's bills included. It's a warm. The, the room is tiny, though. Like, the room is tiny. The, be the bed and the wardrobe alone has, like, occupied the entire room. But I don't even mind because I get a kitchen. I get a... um. A living room that has a sofa that is convertible to a bed a sofa bed so i'm not even mad at it at all like how many times would i be spending in the room anyways so yes i'm in contact with her and it seems promising i just hope that at the end of the day she doesn't back up because I've, it's it's there has been a couple of landlords like that that seem promising but i don't know it gets to a stage they just stop all forms of communication but I hope this one isn't like that. If this one isn't, I'm definitely going to take this apartment. Like, definitely going to take it. So, yeah. That's all the updates for now. I want to say you guys be praying for me, but <laughs> by the time you see this, I shall be in London by God's grace. <laughs> you know. Okay, so that's it. That's the update. I'm going to go and reapply for my Form A now. And I will see you guys when I see you. Bye. 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 Hey everyone. Today is the 22nd of November and since last Friday that I sent my financial documents, a lot has happened. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, this journey is a lot. So I sent the financial documents to them and I expected that they would approve it. Instead, I got somebody telling me that my financial documents were not enough. And I don't understand. I had a lot of money more than what I was supposed to have. And it just wasn't hard enough. I messaged them saying that, um, telling them the calculations I did, and how I came about that amount of money in my account and it's been there for 28 days and blah 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 I explained everything to them and they still said that um, my the money in my account is not enough 
like i just kept thinking where am i even going to start from i didn't tell my parents because i was sure that the money was enough i was so sure and then it got to a point that they said oando converter is what ukvi uses and i should use oando converter and when i use the oando converter it was even lower than what i was saying was the amount i was supposed to have <laughs> you get so i had way more in my account like i didn't understand and i kept anyways i figured at the end of the day that the person that i was communicating with didn't know what she was doing that's the conclusion <laughs> she definitely did not know what she was doing because yesterday while i was still going back and forth with her i got a mail from somebody else that said that um my financial documents have been accepted and blah 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 and they wish i and they wish me well going forward and that they wish i get my cast soon and all of that so yes that's that's what has been happening so far so since friday to monday i've been worried and yesterday i sent so many mails <laughs> so many mails to people that at the end of the day couldn't help me but anyways i'm just glad that it got resolved so that's it um i'm waiting now for cars i don't know when i get this but i'm hoping it soon i'm hoping it's this week so i can apply for my visa this week yeah even though 29th of november is my passport capturing i just hope everything goes well and the time aligns you know so that's it another thing that as that is still worrying me is um, PT. So personal travel allowance, you need a return ticket for that. And I only booked a one-way ticket. So I'm trying to change my return ticket to a one-way ticket. But I'm thinking, is it better with the agency I booked with or I should just go to the airline straight? So today I'm going to confirm how much extra it would be if I use the um, airline because the agency i already hacked they said 271k as at the day i hacked so i'm going to try the airline today maybe give them a call or something and find out how much it will cost to you know change to a return ticket and um their cancellation um procedures and all of that so that's where i'm at now that's where i'm at also guys i have four days to the end of our job <laughs> i am so excited so 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 excited like this journey of one year is about to come to an end so excited so god can you see the excitement in my face i'm so excited <laughs> yeah i'm so happy so happy so happy i'm just so grateful this week though is my call week <laughs> Like my unit this week is our call week, so I'm going to finish during the call week. Not so bad because our call week is not that stressful. But you mean I mean call week is always stressful. So, anyways, I will give you guys the next time I'm coming here. I'm open. I'm open. I'm seriously open. That is to come and give you that. You give. I'm seriously open. That it's it's that it's to come and give you guys my victory dance that i have gotten cast so yeah i hope so look forward to that victory dance <laughs> bye guys okay so yesterday i started the application for the visa but i didn't complete it because my brother was going to pay for my IHS and my visa fee and he was going to be at work and I didn't want to disturb him so I did it this morning I in fact just completed my visa application and it went smoothly I had guide there's this video on telegram there's this telegram group I'm on there's this video that you know helps so I used to and it was a smooth process it was fast actually and so i paid for my ihs fee it was eight sixty six dollars i paid for my visa fee it was 46 dollars 
and I paid for, I want to use VI CLS. So I paid for VI CLS, extra 55 pounds. If you're if you using VI CLS in Vegas, if you're using the Kedja, there is no cost, there's no extra cost. But um, the Telegram group I said I'm on, VI TLS so far has been faster than Ikeja, so I decided to use VI straight up. Yeah. Guys, can you see that my face is so long? I slept so late yesterday. I was watching the Korean movie. I think I slept before. Anyways, so yeah, I paid for all that and I paid for the TLS service. I paid $38,850 because um I also said they should send me an SMS when my passport is ready. So that's extra 350. So yeah, that's about everything I paid so far. I didn't know that I was going to pay for TLS service. I paid for that one using my Naira card. But every other thing I paid using um, my brother's pound um, credit card. Pound card, I don't actually know if it's a credit card. <laughs> This is my brother's pound card, so. Yeah, your girl has applied for visa. Okay, so my um, visa date, my biometrics date is on the 1st of December. So I had the option of picking 29th of November and 30th of November. But because I want to print my, actually, the main reason why I picked 1st of December is because uh, my biometrics for my passport is on the 29th of November, and I'm going to have to go to Ocean Street Ushubo, for that. So I did not want to risk um, putting my biometrics for my visa on the 30th of November. So that would mean that I would have to leave Ushubo on that 29th, and I don't know when biometrics for. Um, passports would be over. I did not want to risk it. And I also wanted time to rest after the old stress that I know that will happen to me <laughs> on the 29th of November and then joining back to Lagos and all of that. I just wanted to take out time to rest and have time to prepare my documents and everything that I would need. You know? So that's why I didn't pick 30th of November. So I just picked 1st of December. I didn't be flexi, so it's 8 a.m. 1st of December. So, yeah, that's, that's where we are at. For the payment of my IHS and my visa fee, I think I've told you guys before, I converted um, Naira to pound four. So, my brother had the money in his account for. So, yeah. Even though I converted it at the time that it was at an all time high, I converted using 987. Um, Naira to one pound, it's a lot. So, altogether, I paid one hundred and one thousand one hundred forty three pounds, is what I use on the website. Is in dollars, but pounds I pay with the pounds card, so using the pounds, yeah. That's it, guys, for now. Um, so the next time we're probably going to see is um, my biometrics appointment for my passport, then my biometrics appointment for my visa. So they said within 15 working days is when the visa is going to come out. So I'm open. I mean, 15 working days after biometrics, so I'm like hopeful that by December 16th, I would have gotten my visa. That's that's the update for now, guys. Up and early today is biometrics day, visa biometrics day, <laughs> and we're about to leave the house. Praying for favor. Hey guys. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm back from. TLS VA and I missed my appointment. My appointment was for 8 a.m. prime time. I didn't even realize that I paid for prime time. 
which was 8 a.m. and oh but I got there so late I got there 8 45 and they said I couldn't do it again today so I begged I cried I did everything <laughs> but they insisted that I could not do it today so that means that I had to reschedule so I rescheduled for 5 5th of December that's on Monday by 1 p.m. That's why I rescheduled for it was at that rescheduling I realized that you had to pay for prime time and the extra thirty something k I paid I wasn't supposed to pay. So yeah, and I heard that it's not refundable, but I should just try and see if they will refund me. So yeah, that's that's what's up. I'm sick. I my eyes aches. I'm having sinusitis, my nose is blocked, I have sore throat, I'm weak, a lot of things is happening to me right now. I haven't eaten since morning and I don't even feel hungry, like I'm so weak. But I just said I should come here and tell you guys about my experience and tell you that do not pick 8 a.m. I picked, it's not like I intentionally picked 8 a.m. to get. I picked 8 a.m. because that was the only time available for me to pick. If not, I would have to pay 44000 for Flexi. And I did not have that money. <clears throat> if I had known that 8 a.m. was prime time and that was why I was paying at 30 something, I, I really would have gone for Flex because what's the difference between like 30? I think it was 38 and 44. But, anyways. I also realized that um, Vihai Center is very chill, very fast, and the queue is not a lot, so you just go there very fast. On and high, you're done. So, yeah, definitely VI TLS. I heard somebody there saying that if it was a Keja, you'd be climbing by yourself to get in. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's it. I'm so tired. I'm not tired. I'm just weak. Because I'm not tired because I took Uber to the place and then I took public transport back and it was like the bus was just at the door of the TLS center and they dropped me right at my junction. So the only thing that was making me frustrated was the way I was feeling the weakness and I had to go and print um the new appointment time again then i had to go to the hospital to sign a form like that anyways that's it guys i will see you next time bye hey guys your girl just got back from vi tls and today see i don't even know this was my second chance because if you are aware the last time i missed my time and i was told i asked today i was told that the prime time appointment i paid for that i can ask for a refund refund online that i should just try to ask for a refund online so this appointment was 1 p.m i left the house by 9 and i did not get to <laughs> my destination till 12 48 guys 12 48 me too i now did um i did gamble okay so i got to be high around like 11 30 ish and i now went to european airlines office to complain about my or to ask them about my return tickets if you know i want to change my one-way tickets to a return ticket so i asked them and they said i have to continue with travel start since i started with travel start and i'm and with travel start i'm supposed to pay 20k extra anyways so today went well i got to the VITLS by 12.48 on the dots and I entered immediately because mine was by 1 
So immediately I got there, they asked, um, who is for one o'clock? I said I was, and I entered immediately. Immediately I entered, it was so smooth, guys. I presented my documents, somebody came, helps me arrange the ones I needed. Just in case you are watching this, the only thing you need to print is the first page of every document. Please don't waste, because I spent like 3,600 printing my checklist form, which is five pages, my visa application form, which is 12 pages, then TLS appointment time. See, just the first page of every document they ask you to bring is enough. Don't bother printing the old page because it's just a waste of money. At the end of the day, they only needed three things. The, um, the photocopy of your passport, then your original passport, then the first page of your checklist form, and then um, your TLS appointment time. That was, that was everything that they needed if you are doing a um, self-service. That's everything they needed for me. And then when they collected it, somebody checked it. And then I moved on to a stage where they put my documents and everything inside a bag. And after that, they gave me what I would use to come back to collect um, my passport because I chose self to pick it by myself. And then after that, what else? I moved on to the biometric stage. So the biometric stage was the longest. And it's not even the actual biometrics that was long. It was the queue. So there were like, I think eight to 10 people in front of me, but it was very, very fast. There were two places that were doing the biometrics, two people doing the biometrics. So it was very fast, very, very fast. Immediately I went in. I don't think I spent up to two minutes inside. So I just sat down. They told me to look at the camera, say my name, say my date of birth. And then I did my thumb printing and then I signed my signature and that was it. They told me, bye-bye, you're done. That was it. So 12.48 to 11 to 1.13, that's all I spent inside the VLS center. That's it. It was very, very smooth. Very smooth. There was, not, there was no crowd inside and all that. So yeah. But now it's like five minutes to three. Ask me how I'm just getting home. There was a lot of traffic before Todd Milan Bridge. Um, Atiku was around and everybody was just yabbing all of the convoy and everything. But I couldn't even say much because, I mean, mm, if you know, you know. <laughs> I really couldn't say much. So I just kept quiet and, just, and I was just listening to all of the conversation. Anyways, that's about it for today. The next time you see me, I would be um collecting my visa and coming to do a victory dance for you guys <laughs> and then i would be the next time after that is collecting my passport and all of that so today is the 5th of december we have 20 days to go in nigeria <laughs> 20 days to go fun fact guys so me and my sister we we'll live in Nigeria on the same day. <laughs> so my sister is going to Canada. I'm going to the UK. And we're both living on the 25th of December. She's going with her family, her husband, and my nephew, Ethan. And me, I'm going as a single pringle that I am. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's, that's it. That's, that's, that's the update. I will see you guys when I collect my visa. I'm hoping that it doesn't take long because the reason why I chose VI is because the um, people have seen their testimonies and how VI is very fast. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that within this week, today's Monday, I'm hoping within this week I would get it. So 5th of December. Bye.